All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa Fail, Table Sean, whatever Sean, back at it with some Destiny 2. In this video, we're going to talk about Destiny 2 exotics. And we got some new information coming out from Game Rant with an interview or a quote from Mark Noseworthy. And then at the end, let's talk about three of coins. I have some opinions I want to share on whether or not they should come back. And I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. So when I went out to L.A. to play and capture Destiny 2, there were three exotics available on the various characters. There was the Sunshot, Sweet Business, and the Risk Runner. Now the Sunshot, that was a hand cannon, but it was an energy weapon. So it was solar and it takes up your energy slot, which used to be a special. Had explosive rounds and it would highlight targets, but then every time you got a kill with it, that enemy would explode. Then there was Sweet Business, which was an, well, it was classified as a kinetic auto rifle, but it would look like a Gatling gun, basically. It had increased hip fire accuracy, and also it had another perk that it didn't actually have a title on it, but it said, however, the longer you hold down the trigger, you will see a boost to the weapon's range and rate of fire. In addition, whenever you pick up ammo, it'll automatically load into your magazine. So you kind of get that perk from Transverse of Steps, which I love from my Warlock. Then the third one was the Risk Runner, and this was an exotic submachine gun, and it had some pretty unique perks. One of them was our conductor where actually it increases the weapon's power when you're taking arc damage and then also kind of like Zal supercell jalo supercell i always forget how to pronounce it <laughs> it has a chance to chain lightning and also return ammo to the magazine now i confirmed the other day from a video that we will be decrypting things i know uh, no one's been talking about engrams or anything and when we went to play our strike the inverted spire we didn't run into any engrams whatsoever however steve cotton i made a video about it two days ago i think he did mention there that we'll go to a social space and one of the things he said Said was decrypt things. So when Game Rant talked to Mark Noseworthy, they, they specifically asked him about the rarities of exotic in the sequel. How's it going to be? Because look, we can all agree, year one, or at least for me, year one, I couldn't get anything to drop. 33 days played until I got my Galahorn, 26 days played for my Hawk Moon, but I still remember those days and where I got them from. Come to Taken King with three of coins. I don't, well, they all came from the Cryptarch because they farmed Draxus literally all weekend. That Three of Coins uh, first came out with the Taken King. I had every exotic. I was happy, but it just, it, the, the whole experience of getting that exotic and freaking out over it was pretty much lost with Three of Coins. So when Game Rent actually asked Mark about the rarity of exotics, here's what he had to say. He goes, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. There is something really special about those year one Gallahorn stories. Then there's something really nice about the determinism of the Taken King where you had to go do this thing and you get the sleeper simulant. Just go do it. It's hard, but you get it. We're going to be somewhere in the middle. Both those stories are pretty cool. We want exotics to be something that all players can get, not something that only the elite guys who put in thousands of hours to get exotics can acquire. Then Mark continues with, exotics are really a special part of Destiny. They are guns or armor that actually change the way you play. The sandbox game, the moment-to-moment -moment combat, is now different because of this thing that happens in my gun or a perk that's on armor. We want everyone to have that experience, so in some ways we are going to democratize exotics a little bit more, but we still want there to be things that are hard to get and will be highly sought after. Now, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I love Exotic Quest. The Outbreak Prime Quest was definitely the best Exotic Quest they ever put in the game. And yes, at the time, it was tedious, but it just made you want to get that weapon so badly. And in my opinion, it was well worth it. Um, same thing with Sleeper Simulant, even the Black Spindle for that matter, even though Black Spindle now drops from Death Singer, you know, they were cool. They were just something to look forward to that you knew you were doing something and the end result was you're gonna get a really cool exotic. I'd be really happy if they threw in quests for exotic armor pieces, maybe for each class. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Now, let's discuss and debate and possibly argue in the comment section about Three of Coins. All right, here's the way I look at it. From a content creator perspective, I want them to come back, right? Because look, I do YouTube for a living. I would like to do reviews on every single exotic and try to get them as quickly as possible. But at the same time, from a fun and just overall experience perspective, it took all the fun out of it. Do I remember when I got Zen Meteor? No. Do I remember when I got Jade Rabbit? No. Do I remember when I got XYZ? No, I don't. So to be frank, I'm going to say I hope they don't come back. You know, I want to experience those experiences I had in year one. You know, with chasing things, whether it be a quest. I hope there's more exotic quests. I hope they do have some exotic engrams, but it's not from Three of Coins. It can just randomly drop from a boss. You know, you don't have to actually just constantly keep popping a Three of Coins, trying to increase those odds. And, you know, I mean, from a content creation perspective, all right, you know what, look, I'm just, 
it's a pet peeve of mine. I'm not one of those types. I, I don't like using people's accounts just like to review something. And granted, that hurts me in the long run. Okay, it hurt me like crazy in year one and two because I would wait until I got the exotic before I would do the review. Whereas everyone else, they would use someone's account and get hundreds of thousands of views. And a ton of you guys um, back in year one and two would offer your accounts to me, and I completely appreciate it. But for the most part, I want to experience that again. I want that experience of like, oh, I finally got it. It dropped. Yes, I could do a review on it. But I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. What are your thoughts on Three of Coins? You know, Three of Coins, I always say, like, Three of Coins and Zer himself, and we don't even know if Zer is coming back. I'm going to assume Zer is going to be back. Zer serves, and, you know, a lot of people ask, like, what, what's the point of Zer? He sells nothing every week. Zer is for the person who can't play that often, okay? When I played a little bit on my Xbox, which was not very, not much, okay? Zer did come in handy because uh, my first exotic came from Zer. He had a Warlock chess piece, and I think it was Starfire Protocol. And I didn't, even, I don't even like Starfire Protocol, but I needed it to bump up my light level. So Zer is going to be there, and I think um, maybe even exotic Engrams or something. They're there to help people who can't play that often. So that's it for the video, guys. Please do me a favor, leave me a comment, and let me know what you guys think about Three of Coins. Do you want them back? If you do, tell me why. If you don't want them back, also tell me why. So that's it, guys. Do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream, usually and always on YouTube. And that is it. I am out of here like Vladimir. This is safe. Cabal don't need to stink the landing. We do.